What's going on guys? It's Danny here and this is gonna be a 6657 average MMR game commentary. It's Sunday so it's time for this type of video. The battle begins. The game just started. We got here just in time. Wind Ranger with the amazing new set from the compendium. I can see someone who likes doing quests a lot. And this is mythical weapon. Look at it. Look at the look at the mythical set. This this is really good set. I I like how it looks. It's amazing. Definitely this guy likes questing. I I don't quest much. But uh let's see what do we got in this game. Sunday time for commentary video. Um right before this game, um there there was a very small patch 6.87d um just letting you know. Mm. When I'm uploading this video, it will be in the same day I'm recording it, on Sunday for me. Um, I will be uploading, I, I'm recording and uploading this video. Um, just letting you know, there was a small patch. Um, Armlet got nerfed a little bit, Doom got nerfed a little bit, the ultimate on his cooldown was increased. Beast Master got nerfed a little bit, the mana cost on the... Um, the call of the wild is 25 now, it used to be 15, so now he uses more mana on his uh, bird and, and boar. And the damage on Beastmaster's boar got reduced a little bit by 5, I think, on every level. Um, Oh, these guys are smoking from behind. This is gonna be the first blood, I think. Can he escape from this? He gets stunned. There is no glimpse. He only has thunder strike. Yeah, okay. So, the, the dire supports went mid, trying to gank the Wind Ranger. That was not very successful. And then there was a very good smoke. But they couldn't kill the Beastmaster either. 310 movement speed. Look at that. Compare 310 movement speed to Lion's 290. Um, first blood was on the bottom lane. Enigma, Enigma off lane. Kind of weird to see, but uh, Enigma off lane. Um, anyway, Beastmaster has more movement speed than them, so of course he runs faster than the Lion. Obviously, Lion was not able to catch, catch him to stun him. So yeah. Um, Enigma offlane, um, I forgot to introduce kind of the, the heroes, introduce you to the game. Um, so let's do the introduction for you guys <laughs> on the Dire team. Enigma offlane, mid lane Timbersaw, safe lane, uh, um, safe lane carry Lifestealer, which Lifestealer is Batman, I have seen him play with this nickname. Um, I am watching the the game live, so I can tell you uh, which game is it. This one, yep. Life Stealer is Batman, um, the the guy who got highest MMR at one point by picking Spectre, but and got like um, like his Spectre build very popular, or more like I don't know if it was his build, but the build he used on Spectre to um, get the highest MMR. Support Lion and support Disruptor. On the Radiant team, we have a Wind Ranger middle with the amazing set that we said that we mentioned already. Oh, 100% evasion from Wind Run. He dodges the auto attacks, and that that chain didn't hit, and he missed the power shot. This is the second power shot he missed. Oh my God. I don't know how did he miss those power shots, but it was so bad. That's a shame. Someone who plays Wind Ranger a lot and has the mythical set. That's such a shame to... Fuck, man. Such a shame to miss two power shots in a row like that. Meh. 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 Roaming Bounty Hunter support. Beastmaster offlane, we already saw that. Safe lane Spectre and the support Witch Doctor. Those are the Radiant heroes. Let's see. 
Radiant Timber Saw is level Thunder 6 attack. already. Wind Ranger is still level 5. My god, this Bounty Hunter has to do work on the mid lane. Bounty Hunter definitely has to do work on mid because... Timber is winning so far. He's winning the mid lane kinda hard. Look at how much harassment he's dealing with the ultimate. He's gonna get shackled now with the power shot. This time it didn't miss. He breaks the trees with the ultimate and now bottle up another timber chain on the tier 2 tower. The power shot didn't didn't hit but uh, Beastmaster finished the kill. Oh my god man. The 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 in, the raindrop raindrop blocked the power shot damage but um and the, the beast master was able to Radiance catch up and right click him once and finish the kill but holy shit raindrop almost saved his life almost um life stealer meanwhile complete free farm on the top lane that's always very good life stealer really strong hero this patch and um, so 6.87 D very small patch that got released just before this game um, in 6.87 armlet received the buff to give you armor when you activate it you have four bonus armor when you activate it but now they increased the HP drain because when you have armlet activated you lose 40 HP per second now it's 45 now it drains more HP from you and it is kind of a nerf oh Spectre with the Hound that's a double kill for Batman on the life stealer Spectre gets glimpsed back that's a 2 for 2 trade Lion life stealer for Witch Doctor bounty hunter that was a better trade for for dire probably because they lost the carry and radiant only lost supports now they lost the disruptor as well that really looked like it was a better trade for dire team the the recap shows something else though anyway Spectre. Spectre is not the hero that it used to be before. 6.87 Spectre got the ultimate cooldown increased on level 1 and 2. On level 3 is 120 seconds cooldown. That's what it used to be on every level before. And that's what basically allowed Spectre to fight early, fight so much. Um, the 2 minute cooldown ultimate. You can assist in fights every two minutes. Timber is getting chased a little bit. The maledict damage is getting blocked by the raindrop. And Beastmaster doesn't have mana for... I mean, ultimate is on cooldown. And that's a dead Timber. Killing spree on the Wind Ranger. See? You never know what's gonna happen. This Wind Ranger missed some, uh, you know... Missed some power shots in the beginning of the game, and then, top tower is under and then um, he died twice. But now he's on a killing spree, and he's tipping bottom to help this guy kill Enigma. Power shot is going to hit, yes. And bounty hunter, 20 HP. That was very close, almost getting the kill on Enigma, almost. Shackle shot didn't latch to anything. Power shot deals a lot of damage and he finishes the kill. Dominating. He even has a wind run if something happened and he was in danger. He even got a wind run. He's on a dominating streak now. Oh, these guys are chasing. They want him. He's gonna be able to glimpse him back right into the kinetic field. And this is a dead Wind Ranger. Power shot got dodged. And that's nice. it. I kinda make this guy look bad, right? In the beginning when I said he missed two power shots in a row. I kinda make him look bad, right? I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. 
Um, let's say people dodged the power shots. He didn't miss them. People dodged them. Just like this one right now. Not being sarcastic at all, by the way. Didn't mean to make the guy look bad or anything. Why would I flame someone while watching the game? Why would I flame someone even in-game? Well, sometimes it happens. Attack. Well, you don't have to know that. Well, um, forget about it, please. I didn't say anything. In the last minute, I didn't say anything. Uh, Lifestealer infesting this creep. And... What is he doing? He's farming with it. <laughs> farming with the tornado. Now, that's a uh, specter hound trying to kill the lion. Please turn back and stun him so you can escape. Nice one. And he can hex him as well if he wants to. I think he's fine at this point though. Lifestealer getting chased. Very, very annoying slow. Armlet toggle. Yep, he did it once. Armlet toggle once. Armlet toggle second time. Nice rage. And together with the open wounds, he will be able to get some HP back. Armlet toggle number three. There we go. Armlet toggle again. Black hole on the Wind Ranger, and he's gonna be able to get the kill on the Wind Ranger. Armlet toggle number four or number five, I forgot. That's Batman for you there, man. Spectre got nerfed, and Batman, everyone is saying like Spectre got nerfed, and Batman now is gonna lose all his MMR. He lost a bit of MMR, but look at the place with the armlet. He armlet toggled four times there where. He could have died if he didn't armlet toggle, so it's all good, man. It's all good. And why do I keep saying man? Man, man, man. Anyway. Uh, Roar is up in one second. Wind Ranger tipping to the tower, but he gets glimpsed back to base. He can walk to the tower again. This is um, a lot of early pushing coming by the Dire team. And... Infest on creeps to heal up from infest. And now they just want to get the tower. Black hole and mech are on cooldown, so this is probably a good time to go. Yeah, they defended the tower, that's what matters. Spectre is not able to join the fight yet. 30 seconds for Hunt. Spectre can only join when Hunt is up. For the rest of the time, pretty sure it would be really good if he continues farming uh, ring of aquila face boots with uh, magic one okay uh, can he kill the disruptor before dying though the dagger didn't hit disruptor he almost get the auto attack that was so close really really close almost got the kill on disruptor anyway space created because there are three heroes that came down here to kill the Spectre. So that Radiant space created for you. Uh, Wind Ranger, 1.5k gold. Probably saving for a Blink Dagger. Radiant's I don't really know. Aghanim's first item will reduce the, you know, reduce the cooldown of the Focus Fire and de help you deal more damage with the Focus Fire. That's nice, Witch Doctor Initiation. This is going to be a kill if the Maledict is... Yep, that's a high level maledict. That must be a kill. Yep, that's level level uh, four. That's something I like doing on Witch Doctor. That gives you a huge killing potential. Maxing the maledict first. Maxing the stun is really really good. Having the one point of voodoo restoration so you can heal yourself or teammates when they need it is also really good. But at the same time though, maledict. If you max that, you have huge killing potential. It's so much damage. That's the only reason why they killed Enigma there, because he had the Maledict maxed. Otherwise, they wouldn't have killed him. Um, now Spectre uses the Hound. Um, honestly, it kinda, kinda makes me question it when I see Spectre using the Hound. 140 seconds ultimate um, to kill a support that Witch Doctor and Beastmaster would have been able to kill anyway. Um, he can't basically assist into any fight in the next two minutes or so because he doesn't have a hound. So I'm not sure if that was worth it. 
On top of that, he died. He killed the lion, but on the way, on his way back to the base, he got picked off. He was trying to go back to base, but he got picked off. So that was definitely not worth it. I would say, guys, try to go for bigger targets with your hunt. Also, the primal roar. It it it's not only Spectre's fault, you know. It's also everyone's fault. It, this is a team game. When something bad happens, everyone is involved involved into it. Most of the time. Sometimes there is one person who throws really hard, but most of the time there is uh, the whole team that uh, you can blame. You should blame the entire team, not only one person. Uh, the Beastmaster, you know, and uh, Witch Doctor were probably like, we gonna gank this lion, so let's go. And then Spectre used Hound, because they told him let's go. Something like that, I don't really know. Whatever. That's a, matter. That's a dominating for bad man. I just noticed his name is BM. BM, Batman. Yeah, BM, of course. <laughs> of co BM, Batman. Yep. That's a Blink Dagger first on the Wind Ranger. Okay. He wants the Blink Dagger. He wants the pick off potential. Um, Beastmaster doesn't have his Blink Dagger yet. He first goes for a Necronomicon. That's a Necronomicon level 2 right now. Nice Shackle Shot. It's gonna be followed by the Roar. And together with the Necronomicons. But Timber is going to be just fine. Wind Ranger can't use any spells. Disruptor Ultimate is a silence. And now Batman will go down. He did kill the Wind Ranger, but now his Mega Kill streak is ended. And it goes to Witch Doctor. That was very close to killing the Disruptor. Almost. Almost, but not get didn't get the kill. And from this fight, Beastmaster got enough gold for the Necronomicon level 3. And uh, now they're gonna be using that to push early. I think Radiant is, in a, is not in a very bad spot this game, not at all. They have good pusher, Beastmaster. They have really, really good team fight as well. And they have very good late game. <coughs> now, that was bad. I have to admit that was bad, but black hole used though. Black hole three minute cooldown. Three minute cooldown. That that coo cooldown on that spell is actually insane, but uh, it got used for a double kill. You know I'm liking this patch a lot so far. This patch is uh, fight. This is this patch is. Fight, 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 fight. Non-stop fight. This is the, the non-stop fighting patch. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Look how well Batman knows Spectre. He knows that it's pointless to chase after the Spectre. Because the, the, the dagger cooldown is not very long. So he will have it again and go hide into trees. Wind Ranger gets glimpsed back into the kinetic field. And he's dead. Alright, Beastmaster roars the life stealer. Can they kill him? It's not gonna be enough. <coughs> oh, he infested the Necro and he used it to get HP. This disruptor is doing work. This guy on the disruptor is doing so much work, it's insane. Glimpse. He basically secured the last two kills with the glimpse. Radiant's so good. Tower is under Doing so much work. So yeah, Radiant. So far, um, 7.5k gold advantage for Dire. Um, but Radiant... Spectre is probably going for a Radiance. He has a Vanguard. Radiant's Vanguard is meta. Radiant's even if it's not meta now. now. Um, Vanguard before the Radiance on Spectre was a thing even before. Some people get a drum. Some people get Vanguard before the Radiance. Whatever you want. Whatever you prefer. Or whatever your game needs you to get. In this game, the Vanguard... 
I guess it's okay. It gives you HP to survive the timber nukes and uh, uh, vanguard blocks physical damage from lifestealer right clicks. So I guess it's fine. Makes you more tanky in general. Makes you really tanky. Hmm, Timber knows the witch doctor is here. He's going for the specter though. Count is up. They can go fight very soon. Roche. Ooh, half HP. He used the illusion rune. Okay, he's down. He's gonna go down. He's dead for sure. He suicided with bloodstone. Yep. If he didn't have that bloodstone suicide, he would have died for sure. And once again, disruptor with the glimpse. This is a dead wind ranger. Nobody can help him there. Nobody can do anything to save him. So that was kind of a one for one. Timber for a wind ranger. The only difference is that Timber suicided with Bloodstone. And now when he respawned, he did a very good thing. He went top to defend, otherwise Beastmaster would uh, definitely take the tower. Necronomicons, boars, creeps, so many things that Beastmaster pushes with. Kinda strange to see maxing the axes before Inner Beast. A lot of people max Inner Beast. I max Inner Beast first. I guess he wants the the wild axes for for good nuke to have in the team fights. This patch is a lot of team fighting, man. This is a crazy team fighting patch. And I think that's nice. For pub games that's really nice. No item progression on the Wind Ranger yet. It's just hard. It's just a hard game for him. Very soon blink on uh, on the beast. With the blink dagger, Beastmaster has huge uh, picking off potential together with Bounty Hunter and the Wind Ranger, even the Spectre. Mm. Oh, Dire used scan. And Enigma, Enigma blinked out because the scan told them there are people there. Alright, that was nice. Look at Beastmaster's position. He's positioning himself in the trees. Just enough range to give the creeps inner beast so they can attack faster and they can push the tower faster. He's not showing on the lane, but he's just, selling, just staying there and giving aura. Tell me how is this game fair? I don't know what do you mean, Witch Doctor. Uh, Spectre is about to have his uh, sacred relic. And then Radiance is a really big thing on Spectre. So... Alright, high ground push, boys. Spectre doesn't have to be there. He can uh, split push. And join that fight with Hound. Oh, Bounty Hunter gets wrecked so fast. Wind Ranger as well. That's a level 2 finger of death. And now Timber Soul will go down, that's for sure. Nice cast bounces on Timber. And that's a kill for the Spectre. That's a really big kill for him. He almost has enough gold for the recipe now. He bought the sacred relic and he almost has gold for the recipe. That one kill. Remember that Lifestealer has Aegis of the Immortal. He is very tanky. He gets stunned by the cask now. Together with the Maledict is really good damage. Nice. Uh, oh shit, that's a black hole. Black hole on Bounty Hunter and Beastmaster. Spectre trying to go in and do something, but it's hard. Triple Q for Batman on the Life Stealer. Wind Ranger both back. Can he do something with this buyback? Okay. Um, armlet. I mean, not. Yeah, Armlet toggle. Not. Spectre, don't die. He has a buyback. Will he use it? He's about to lose the rocks. He's saving the gold. 
Saving the gold for Radiance. Yeah, I think that's okay to do. They can probably play one Rax behind. Yeah. Nothing you can do. You just have to be patient. And be positive. Which doctor is on tilt or some shit? Are you fucking in party? Who is in party? A party of two being able to play with solo queue? Well, that shouldn't be happening, first of all. Yup, got glimpsed. Lifestealer got killed there. Disruptor, double kill for Beast. Wow, that's really big. If they can kill the Timber as well, that's that's huge, but... Nah, low cooldown. Four second cooldown only on the Timber chain. Nah. I don't think they can. Uh, Boar is slowing him. Nah, they can't. That... that sucks. That sucks, really... That really sucks. <laughs> for Wind Ranger. I don't even know why are they chasing so much. Like, you can try to chase someone, but... I'm sure there is a point where you say, stop. Stop chasing. Go back. Chill. Wind Ranger died because he didn't chill. Remember guys, you have to chill. Wind Ranger only died because he didn't chill. Oh! Spectre is so scared. He might get Glimpse back. Nope, never mind. Alright. Team fight. Whoa, man. Very aggressive. Batman, so aggressive. Right now, the rage is on cooldown, but he's infested. Infested on Timber. Oh, Shaco almost. Almost latched to Lion. And Spectre gets. Uh, this. I mean, a uh, Wind Ranger gets Glimpse back. Spectre ultimate incoming with uh, Radiance. Kills the Disruptor really, really fast, and the Lion as well. Should be able to kill them both. He actually didn't get any of them, and now he's gonna die without killing anyone. Now, this might be the GG. Until now, it wasn't over yet, but right now, it kind of is, probably. Yeah, game is very hard. Yep. Nothing you can do. Look at that. Look at that damage. Look at how hard Life Stealer hits. And look at how annoying the boar is. Look at the slow from him. What the fuck? He definitely needs a Daedalus. He needs some Daedalus action on the Lifestealer. I feel like he's lacking a Daedalus. Really? Rip. So, is this game over or nah? Is it over or nah? I think it is over. Game over or nah? I think it's uh huh. It's over. Middle tower Hello? Wind Ranger? Radiance middle tower is under attack. Yeah, this game is over, man.